Hey guys, we're Grayson and Harrison, and these are our pups, Nala and Ari. Today we're working with Boj RV to talk about solar power. Harrison is going to walk you through how we attached our solar panels. All right, let's go mount 600 watts of solar. On this install, we're going to be mounting it to 8020 and using 8020 to do that. So let's go ahead and go over what you would need uh, to make that happen. So on the roof, uh, we have one by two uh, 10 series 8020. On the perimeter of the solar panel, we're going to be affixing 15 series 8020 to build a nice frame around it and uh, make sure we add as much integrity as possible. The first step is going to be to cut your perimeter. Once you have your perimeter, we're going to need to go ahead and attach it. For attaching it, we're going to use these cool things. They're called T-stats and they're going to slide right into the 8020 just like that and you know add something that uh, you can fasten something to so we're going to go ahead and drill holes in the sides of the solar panel and then we'll go ahead and insert these into our 8020 and uh, get it all put together nicely so i'm going around with the marker and you can go ahead and make a little dot so that way we can uh, you know have perfectly in line holes here we do have a, a little spring-loaded punch this is going to just make a little indent. So now that we have our areas and we're ready to drill, let's go ahead and uh, start drilling. Once you've gone ahead and drilled your holes, go ahead and insert your T-studs. In order to secure them, I went ahead and uh, just threaded on a washer and a nut. And I was sure to leave myself enough uh, so I can easily slide it into the 8020. Now before you go ahead and torque everything down, come in with uh, some thread locker. It is on there, nice and nice and sturdy. So with the way that I've configured my setup, um, these are going to be on the ends. So what that does mean is uh, this is actually going to end up covering that in just a moment. So in order to uh, attach this to those, we do need to go ahead and insert our, uh, our T-nuts. So, one, two. And just like that, we have our perimeter attached. So now that we have our panel up, uh, it's time to get it attached. So, uh, for this side, we have two T-nuts for 10 series. So we'll go ahead and get those inserted and into place. Those are going to go just on the cross beams. And then these, these are an elbow, uh, but what's special about these is these actually convert. They go uh, from 10 series to 15 series. So um, that's how we're going to go from these crossbars to the 15 series, which is the perimeter. And 15 series is just, you know, a dash thicker. So we have our, uh, our screws for our 10 series, and then we have our screws for our 15 series. So let's go ahead and break out that thread locker and we will start with uh, our 10 series on the bottom and the crossbars. There's a bigger end, bigger hull, smaller hull. 10 series, it's going to go in the smaller hull. So we're going to want to tighten it, but not that tight. So you want it to be able to move around just a little bit. Grab your screw that you have for your 15 series fastener. There we go. As you can see, we have our first bracket attached. So let's go ahead and move around the other sides and get the other three attached. Now you can see that we have our panel attached on this side, as well as the other. And just like that, that's how you install solar panels using extruded aluminum. These are the Boj RV 200 watt 9BB panels. Thanks for watching.